you, you talked about your confidence last night going forward. Can you just talk about the challenge going forward, going home, but having a chance to, to tie it back up? Yeah, I mean, this is kind of what the playoffs are about. Um, you, uh, you, know, you go through a lot of ups and downs, and but ultimately somebody's got to win four times. And uh, so you just keep going. You keep playing. And we have a chance to um, tie the series at home. That's a pretty good position to be in. And um, we got to win two two basketball games. We've done that an awful lot. So uh, we're very confident. Big news about Chris Paul and his injury. Thoughts on that and then just... The, the impact a guy like him makes on the series? Uh, I haven't heard. I, I know that he was hobbled at the end of the game, but I don't know the extent of the injury. Steve, you were mentioning even with yesterday's result, there are certain things that you saw that left you encouraged. What were some of those things? Um, I, I thought we got better shots last night. Um, I thought um, we moved the ball pretty well, better than, than game uh, four. Um, Feel good about the way we're defending them. Um, you know, we got to stop reaching. I think I mentioned that we sent them to the line too many times. But uh, all in all, I feel good about our ability to, to come out in Game Six and, and win the game and, and get some momentum back. How's Andre doing? And what's the likelihood that he'll be back for a Game Six? I have no idea. He's uh, he's gotten incrementally better each day, but um, I haven't talked to him this morning. How much of a boost would it be if you're able to get him back for that game? Well, it'd be great. Um, you know, he's he's a great player. He's one of our keys, um, and we've missed him the last two games. But um, we can't count on it. The injuries happen, and you just got to play with whoever's out there. And so we're hoping he's back. Um, We'll see what happens. What's the game plan the rest of the day? You guys fly back, and then what, what, what will you do after that? I will not meet with the media. <laughs> um, the players won't do anything. Uh, coaches will probably gather at the facility, um, put together a plan for tomorrow. What does Andre still need to show Chelsea? Or Chelsea just needs to tell me that he can play, and, and that's it. Um, other than that, it's... Uh, he's, he's either healthy enough to play or he's not. Steve, obviously Quinn got some uh, very key late game minutes. Can you kind of talk about the thinking about putting him on the court and then after he missed that three-pointer, was there any sort of talk you had to have with him? Like what does that do for like a young guy? And, uh, well, he's on the floor because he's a great shooter and um, you know he, I, he is important for us. He spaces the floor. He's uh, He's he's got guts as he showed. Um, I'm I don't I didn't need to say anything to him. Um, you know the 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 biggest thing in the NBA, the only regret you should have is if you don't shoot a shot. And um, you know he was open and uh, had a good look at it, um, had the guts to shoot it, and uh, didn't go in. But next time he's going to shoot it again, and pretty good chance it'll go in. Um, yeah. TNT had, uh, had captured that moment Sorry. with you and Kevin talking about trust during yesterday's game. I mean, team-wide, what, what's your read on the trust component with these guys right now? And you know, the ball movement is obviously still a, a bit of an issue. Well, Houston's doing a great job defensively. Um, and, we'll, you know, they're doing what we do. When, when you switch everything, uh, it makes ball movement more difficult. It makes player movement more difficult. That's why you do it. And that's why they've built the roster they have. That's why we've built the roster we have. Uh, so, you know, everybody's saying, well, why aren't you guys, uh, you know, moving the ball? Why? Well, it's good defense. And, um, and so, you know, we're lucky we have Kevin because Kevin is, is the ultimate answer against switching defenses. And he's had a great series. Uh, last night wasn't his best game, but I thought he still um, carried us uh, at times. And um, there's not much more to say. We just got to play better as a team. Steve, you've played, played with guys that have missed a lot of shots and stepped on and, and taken a big shot when necessary. You've coached those guys too. Eric Gordon's done it two games in a row. What kind of quality do you have to have mentally to, to have a terrible night shooting, but when the ball finds you in a big moment to just yeah. step into it? You just can't care, honestly. you got to find a way to not care. And uh, if, you, if you think too much about the repercussions, then you get in your own way. And um, it's my experience uh, that um, if you just uh, trust it and let it go, no matter who you are, um, you know, you're more likely to make a big shot. But um, you know, even the best players, um, most of them don't make half of those those uh, big shots at the end of the game. So you know, I, that's why I love Quinn taking that shot late. Um, love Steph, you know, taking that runner. I love Draymond making that big three. 
uh, you just got to play and uh, you don't worry about anything else. What was the general mood of the squad when you addressed them after the game and, and what did you try to tell them to maybe encourage them if there wasn't that optimism? Uh, well, there, there's, uh, there's things I tell you guys here and then there's <laughs> things I tell my team that are private and so I'm not sharing anything I said with the team after the game. How valuable do you think your team's playoff experience at this level will be as y'all try to avoid elimination? We've been here before. You know, we, um, we've, we've faced elimination on the road before this team has a few years ago we've uh, we faced series deficits before um, we've won um, all of those series um, our guys have the ultimate confidence that uh, we can get it done this time too we're at the point in the series where both sides have seen each other so much that they're anticipating the rotations and the ball movement and the sequences and the moves even uh, is there is that exaggerated at all with the switch because everybody's anticipating the switch and they know what they're going to get every time does that stagnate the energy offensively a little bit yeah that's what switching does um i think it's um you know we're trying to do some different things um and i, I thought we had some success last night uh, changing some things um you know we pretty much know what they're going to do but we we know what they were going to do before game one uh, nothing's changed. Um, you know they've made mo no bones about how they're going to attack. They're you know they're, they've done it all year long. They've got two great one-on-one -on -one players, a lot of good three-point shooters. So they're going to just um, ISO every time, and we've done a good job guarding the ISO. Um, and uh, we've got to continue to look for better shots offensively and better ways to, to find those shots. But um, I'd, I'd say at this point everybody kind of knows you know what's coming. Thanks a lot.